Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Lauren and her daughter Taylor can't sell their house. Data design, wallpaper and more wallpaper are leaving buyers unimpressed. It's pretty hideous. And that's just part of the problem. Air freshener lampshades? No. So with a budget of $5,000 and some clever staging and design tricks, in the end I think this is what buyers are going to love. I'm going to transform this unsellable house into one that sells. I'm really blown away. I'm so different. We're in Comac, New York, an upscale suburb with boutique shopping and great restaurants. Houses in this community sell quickly and fetch top dollar for square footage. But this one's still on the market. This house has 1,750 square feet of space, three bedrooms and one bath. Listed at $379,000, it's been on the market for eight months. In a buyer's market, knowing your competition is everything. If you want a quick sale, your home needs to be comparable in price and design to other houses of a similar footprint. In neighborhoods where buyers pay top dollar for square footage and you have an extension, you want to showcase your extra space. The best way to do this is to keep your design simple and elegant. Lauren has lived in this house for the last 24 years, and it's time to make a move. My kids are grown, and I just want to get out of my house and move on with my own life. Taylor's ready to move too, and knows what might help. Oh, Taylor, come on, just move to the side a little bit. I tell my mom all the time things that we need to do to really fix the house, and really that would really help itself. Our kitchen needs to be updated, our wallpaper needs to be taken down. I think it's just time to update our house. It's living in the past, and so is she. But Lauren needs some motivation. Right now, it's not where my mind is. My mind isn't into redecorating a house. So I haven't done anything. This house is on a great cul-de-sac, which is perfect for families and people who like quiet and privacy. And houses in this market are selling at healthy prices. So I wonder what the problem is. So your house has been on the market for eight months. That yeah. must be difficult. It's a long time, a very long time. Are you leaving home? What are your plans? Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> We've been here a long time. There's nothing for me. I'm single and time for us to separate and move on. Separate and move on. Right, so we need to get this house sold. Well, the best thing to do is if I take a tour around the house and then I can see what the problems are and then we can go from there. Oh, great, great. So, this room, foyer, living room, what do you use this for? We don't even sit in here. You never use it? Never. Thanksgiving. We'll Thanksgiving. We'll put a big We've... table in here right. and everyone kind of hangs out. I see you've got some old pieces and new pieces. Are you the designer here? Do you have a particular style? I like to just put things from different places together. Mix and match. Yeah. An eclectic palette. Yes, that's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me about this room. This is our den, it was uh -huh. our garage, and we turned it into like a family room, so a sitting room to watch TV. Extensions are a fantastic way of adding square footage and adding value. The only problem is, is sometimes people worry, they don't know who built it, you know, do you have the right building certificates, what about the wiring and the plumbing? Now, um, I'm gonna guess that this is a sponging, stippling job? There's two things my mom loves, it's wallpaper and sponge paint. Yeah, I see, my two rules. No wallpaper, <laughs> no sponge paint. Sorry, Mom. That was then. <laughs> I know, then. exactly, that was then. We need to make your house now. And you always, when you're selling, you want to make your house feel as contemporary and clean as possible. So this is a huge pink sofa. You've got this big sofa and then that table. Do you eat in here? No. no. With the corner sofa that close to the table, it, it feels cluttered and crowded. Whereas if you pare down the furniture, the room immediately feels bigger. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of wallpaper. <laughs> Where did it come from? Probably 13 years.
years ago. Mm -hmm. It was why I wanted some color. I worked with a decorator in a wallpaper store. I like your spirits. I just want to find that decorator and give her a talking to. I have a problem with wallpaper in the kitchen for a purely practical reason. It's more humid because you're cooking, you know, there's grease. People like surfaces that you can wipe down and you can't wipe down wallpaper, so I just don't think it's a practical place and especially not floral wallpapers <laughs> with floral borders. You can have too much of a good thing. I love the fact that you have an eaten bar there. It gives people somewhere to sit in the kitchen. Right. But this is going to lead on to my next question, because from here I'm seeing a dining room table, a breakfast bar, and then you've got a dining room table game in there. Game table? I'm sorry, but most people look at a table and don't think of a game table. They look at a table and think of eating. They do not think of family games, games. night. And it's just taking up space. I cannot wait to get rid of that table. <laughs> what have we got here? I feel like this is like the Willy Wonka room where you could like scratch and sniff and actually lick it too. I tell you what, if you could lick that wallpaper and it tastes like apples, it would stay 100%. <laughs> it's a selling feature. I have to say, I have never ever seen black floral wallpaper. This is a first. I mean, do you find this room gets dark? When I first put this on and I told my kids I was doing black, they were like, no, no, no. And then when it was up, it really looked really nice. It looked like there was a contrast. It looked really nice. People see this amount of wallpaper there and think, oh, this is going to be a big job, and that's added cost. I didn't want to take it down because I didn't want to pull it down and do yeah. work. Exactly, and so buyers aren't going to want to do the work either. But the good news is, is we're here to do the work. And on that note, I think it'd be fantastic if we have an open house and we can get the feedback from the buyers, and then we can go from there. That's great. Good. Houses in this neighbourhood are selling for between $365,000 and $445,000. Lauren's listed at $379,000 is priced right, but buyers just aren't biting. Lauren and Taylor's house, it's a three-bedroom ranch. We're in a nice, quiet cul-de-sac. The market is good in this neighborhood. The biggest drawback, which I've discussed with Lauren, is that the kitchen is not too updated, and the house has some older feelings to it with wallpaper and things like that. Joe's holding an open house, and buyers have a lot to say. That's an eating area? <laughs> oh, Where did that come from? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, that's really random. Oh, look at that wallpaper. It's pretty hideous. Hello. Delicious. Oh, <laughs> wallpaper. Oh my god, this wallpaper. It looks like something you'd see in my grandmother's house. They really must love fruits and vegetables it's all over the place. This is such a light room. Yeah, you know, they really need to brighten this place up. Well, the hardwood floors is nice. And that's pretty much where it ended. The kitchen needs a lot of work. I would never put an offer on this house. That's a good view. <laughs> the price is too much, and for what I have to put into it, it's not worth it. It's a perfect size, but it just needs some updating. The houses that are really selling quickly in this neighborhood are houses that have been totally updated. Open house is a great success. They love the hardwood floor. They love the cathedral ceilings in the den. They thought there was great square footage. They liked the layout. There were some negative comments. They thought that the decor was dated. The wallpaper and the stippling, they said that they thought that was a bit old fashioned and wasn't really contemporary. I think for the time it was fine and um, I, I'd be curious to see what color she likes to pick there. You probably outgrown the floral wallpaper. I know, I know you have, Taylor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm over it. I think it's really important that we don't give buyers any excuse. It's a lot of work to do all this. So I don't want to do all this. <laughs> it's going to be some work, but I think it's going to be fun, and I think it's going to have a, a big impact. And don't worry, I have a master plan. Well, this house is going to look fantastic. So you just got to trust me and lend a hand. <laughs> Are you ready? We're ready. Excellent. You can paint. <laughs> this house has great potential, but at the moment it feels dated and it definitely needs an upgrade. The first room buyers see has to have a really big impact. We'll paint and add a cosy reading area to better define the space. The big sofa will be repositioned and lots of accessories will add colour and style. The configuration of the living room is changing. That accent wall is being neutralised and we're adding a custom wall unit that will give the space a finished feel. Artful touches will make it complete. The kitchen is getting a much needed facelift. The wallpaper is coming down and the breakfast bar will be shortened to make room for a great new storage feature. The dining room is going from dark and dated to bright and contemporary. That black wallpaper is going and so is that old chandelier. New grey chairs will add a chic touch. 
because buyers generally like clean and fresh and contemporary. But before I can get my plan underway, we have to pack up the knickknacks. Be careful. There is a lot of work ahead, but the biggest job will be bringing down the wallpaper. Meanwhile, I'm sending Lauren and Taylor to see a house in their neighborhood that sold recently to help Lauren better understand what buyers are looking for. Nice house. Let's go look inside. This house has 1,800 square feet of space, three bedrooms and two bathrooms, and it sold for $439,000 in only four months. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very open. It's bigger than I thought. It's I like big. the colors, too. It's cool. I think this sold because when you first walk in, our house, maybe you don't know which is living room and yeah. den. We just have too much going on. I really like the window. I kind of don't like the carpet, but that's, that's just my thing. <laughs> so it's, it's open. I like that they have a little contrast to mix a pop. It's well put together. You should get their decorator. <laughs> See, this is a nice kitchen. <laughs> well, this is a kitchen. Now it's yeah, in the hallway. The cabinets and the stove. I don't know. This just looks nice, clean. Maybe that works a little bit better right now selling. I can see the difference. I can see that this looks more like a kitchen. It's cool. It's definitely cool. Mm -hmm. OK, so when are we moving in? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that this house sold before we did. I think it's the neutral colors. Everything's more inviting. I would rather walk into this house as opposed to ours. Maybe we can just update a little bit, modernize it, and then hopefully we're going to sell. And Let's then do it. Let's okay. sell it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What do you think? It's big, big, empty. It's empty. Anyway, tell me about the comp house. No florals. No florals. <laughs> I like the molding, I like the neutral colors, mm -hmm. and I like the window. There was wood on the window, so the, things did pop. Yeah. I liked that it was a, a normal kind of kitchen, not like a long, like ours. Yeah. It, was, it was nice. It, it felt like it was straight out of a catalog. That's what I'd like, nice and neutral. And I promise you, there will be interest, there will be color. It's not going to be a bland box. Mm -hmm. But I just think at the moment, the wallpaper and the, the paint is putting people off. And I think we just need to make it feel a bit more updated. And then I think the house is going to look fantastic. I've got a couple of projects for you. I'm just going to finish off wrapping these trinkets, and then we're good to go. The feedback we got from potential buyers was this wallpaper was dated, so it's got to go. Now, we've taken off the first layer, and then we sprayed the walls with a solvent mixed with hot water. And that's going to dissolve the glue and make it easier to scrape this off. So, fingers crossed. Look at that. You have these great white cabinets that are in great shape. The backsplash is a little bit dated. But I have a solution. OK. We're going to take care of that with paint. Quick lesson in priming. Take the primer, apply it to the wall, move it back and forth, you're priming. So for this particular surface, because it's glossy, we need to use an adhesion primer. This stuff will stick to anything. That's great. Okay. Priming is done. Let me show you the paint. First reaction. What do you think? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan. OK, well, I happen to know that it'll tie in with the rest of the room very well. OK. OK, so this is a sprayer. It's very, very touchy. As soon as you press the trigger, the paint is going to come out. The key is to do long strokes with the gun, release at the end. Think you can handle that? <laughs> and again. Looks good. It looks good. Already the space looks so much bigger. Just taking down the floral wallpaper and painting over that accent wall has made a huge difference. It looks good. OK, Taylor, we are going to make an area rug. And the best thing about this rug is these only cost five bucks each, so this whole area rug is going to cost 60 bucks. It's very easy. We're just going to work out which pattern we want. It looks like that. Excellent. OK, now, what we'll do is we use duct tape to stick them together. Sounds dodgy, but it actually will work. So now we just have to flip them all back over. Now, the 
most important thing is we have to make sure they line up completely straight. Okay, now you grab that and I'll pull. We'll just line it right up to the edge. And then if we pull it really tight and taut. It's probably slightly unorthodox this, but I know it's gonna work. <laughs> That is how you make an area rug. It's pretty good. Excellent job. Well done. I never would have expected it to make a huge rug out of a little square, so it was kind of cool to see it get put together. And it actually looks really good. Pretty proud of myself. Well, thanks for your help today. I think it was a day of first, your first ever spraying of a backsplash, <laughs> and your first attempt at making a rug. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to ask you to leave now and come back when the house is finished. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. You're very nervous. I'm yeah. excited. You're excited, you're nervous, but I think you're going to love it. Okay. But anyway, it's time to get out of here. I'll get back to work. See you later. Bye. Bye. With Lauren and Taylor gone, our crew can really get to work. A little bit of missing baseball might not seem like a big deal, but buyers will notice. It looks shoddy and unfinished. Guess what? Shoddy and unfinished doesn't sell houses. As always, the finishing touches are making all the difference. This is the original chandelier. It needed a facelift desperately, so we spray painted it grey and bought new shades and we've got practically a new chandelier for under 30 bucks. By cutting down the breakfast bar from eight feet to five feet, we freed up the space for this valuable storage area, but still keep the eat-in kitchen buyers like. We bought this bookshelf to replace the existing entertainment unit that didn't fit properly in the alcove, but we've customized it by adding a balance and crown molding and now it looks like it was designed specifically for the space and really completes the look of the room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, this is so cool. This you is like so it? different. Oh my god. Wow. I would have never expected this. Oh my god. Very different. Before this room felt dated and mismatched. Now it will give a great first impression. We've opened up the space, it's nice and bright. It's neutral. We wanted to give this room a bit more purpose by adding bookshelves, so it's a sitting room, reading room. I like it. I love it. I think it's really cool. Still added your bits and bobs. We've got the hurricane lamp. Your table's still there, too. OK. Well, that's <laughs> my grandmother's table. We've used most of your furniture and your antique pieces, mm -hmm. but we've just sort of dotted them around and used other bits of colour to make it a bit more modern. So do you like it? I like that you put my old with the modern. What do you think of the palette? It's nice. I think this is something, it's different, and I, I really do like it. Well, I'm glad you like it. In the end, I think this is what buyers are going to love, so I'm excited to show you the sitting room. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at how much space there is now. It oh looks my God. so cool. I, I mean, feel like everyone's going to want to come in and hang out now here. Because before, that was an area that you weren't even using. Mm -hmm. You never played games on that table. It felt really small. And now you have one area for entertaining and another one for watching television. When you're selling your house, it's all about showcasing how you can use a room. And now you've got a seating area, a TV area. So what do you think? I'm, I'm really blown away. I'm so different. I would never, I never expected this. This is the rug me and Taylor made. I know it's not your favorite <laughs> color, but it works. I'm so creative. You are wow. very creative. <laughs> And look, we custom built this, because before your entertainment unit didn't fit in the space, you couldn't close the cupboards. No, it was horrendous. This is so cool and so modern. I love it. What I like about this room is it feels much bigger, it's brighter, it's modern, and it's got double use lids now. But anyway, come on through to the kitchen. I think you'll really like that as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. The kitchen was covered in outdated wallpaper. Now it's fresh and new. I think the kitchen now is a bit more young and fun and, you know, has colour, but that's not all the floral wallpaper. 
I feel like I'm in a different house right now, which is good. Yeah. Oh my God, there is a counter still. There's a counter. What we did is we cut it down from eight foot to five foot. So you've still got room for two, two people, but we've got this storage unit and it gives you oh, a lot of extra space. But it still looks pretty. I like it. I, I like really that. do. I like the little area. I think that's nicer. You've got all this counter space. Now you've got storage and an eating kitchen. So you're kind of ticking all the boxes. Anyway, come on through to the dining room. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Oh my god, this is so cool. This looks bigger. This feels bigger. I like it. It looks so good. It looks huge. It looks so much bigger. Well, that's because no more black wallpaper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And remember the comments from the guys? They were like, they loved how the dining room led straight off from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, it was great to have it, but it felt small and dated. And now, this is a kind of formal dining room that buyers like. We've used a lot of your possessions. We've just updated it. See, the chandelier, same chandelier. Get that out. is. Oh, wow. We, we, we spray painted it and added new, um, new light shades. No and now way. it looks... Oh, because he has one with Yeah. Oh. See? I thought it was different. I thought it was like... new. And everything ties in. You've got grey, then you've got these red accents here, red on the walls. This house is now in much better shape. It's going to appeal to buyers more. So all we're going to do now is get some buyers in and hopefully get this house sold. Great. That'd be great. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was really surprised when I walked into the house. I think this really needed to happen. We needed this kind of facelift. I was really nervous, and I think that Sophie really pulled it all together. Everything blends, everything goes together. It's bigger spaces, there's a lot more area, and I think the buyers could really see just moving right in. So we brought them back to see what they think. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this the same place? Wow. That's a, uh, that's a change. It doesn't even look like the same house. Everything works. It looks like something out of a catalog. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love the color. Everything's so open. And thanks God, the fruit wallpaper is gone. The changes that were made definitely make this house a contender. I think my son might put an offer in on this house. I think it's a good possibility. I really think now that the initial reaction when the buyer walks in the door is gonna be completely different because it just has such a nice appeal now. Very comfortable, very clean, totally moving.